Everybody. Welcome to yet another episode of Dark Side of the Walls Shining On in Lockdown. And being as I'm sat in my office in the centre of Leicester, I am pretty much locked down, as you can imagine. Great. It just goes on and on, doesn't it? Um, anyway, let's crack on. This is episode number seven, and at long last, we have one of our keyboard players, the one and only John Murdoch. Uh, John first came into the band back in 2004. I think it was Mick who introduced him to us, and we needed a multi-instrumentalist, really, to take over the role of Michael Wall. And um, it seemed to be the hardest role uh, to fill. But John came along, and uh, he fitted the bill absolutely perfectly, and uh, we were thrilled to bits, and not least because he turned out to be a really nice guy. And I do remember him saying, I'll give it a year. So here we are like 16 years later and he's still with us and thank goodness he is, he is top bloke. One of our unsung heroes really, uh, everyone in the band loves John and he is absolutely crucial to what we do. He uh, chops and changes from guitar to keyboards depending on the song, he plays with consummate professionalism, always on the money, um, if you'll excuse the pun. And uh, I always introduce him to the audience as a very busy man because at the end of the day, that's what he is. He plays acoustic guitar on the on that beautiful twelve string of his. He plays the electric guitar. He also plays uh, the piano and synth sounds in various tracks, and as well as contributing to the vocals as well. So, like I say, he's really crucial to what we do, and a bloody nice fella to boot. So, without further ado. Let's uh, introduce you to uh, John Murdoch. Take it away, John. Hi, um, my name's John Murdoch and I play with Dark Side of the Wall. I've been asked to uh, do this vlog. This is my first vlog um, for anybody or anything, actually. Uh, I joined Dark Side of the Wall uh, some years ago now. Um, and I ended up joining through uh, somebody who put me in touch with Mick Freeman, who's our lead singer. I was looking to do some work using the keyboard and guitar, um, playing predominantly rhythm guitar and support work on, on keyboard. And lo and behold, Dark Side of the Wall were looking for somebody to do exactly that. And I was really surprised. In fact, when I um, when I made the inquiry about the band, I, did, I wasn't even aware of the fact that it was a Pink Floyd tribute band. And when I turned up for the audition, they asked me if I knew any Pink Floyd material. And I said, well, I've listened to Pink Floyd, but I've never really played any and I didn't know any. And they looked slightly aghast, but um, I was there anyway, and we had a three-hour session ahead of us. And they shared the material with me, and I played. And at the end of it, they offered me the place to join, and I was really pleased. So moving on from that, um, like I say, I've been with the band some years, and there have been a few changes in the band over, over that uh, period of time. Uh, but overall, I mean, I've really enjoyed playing and the challenges have been thrown at me in terms of uh, learning new pieces, learning to switch around between the keyboard and the guitars. I've got an X5, a Korg X5D synthesizer. Um, I have a, a Palmer 12 string guitar. You've probably never heard of a Palmer. Um, and I have a Fender, American Fender Elite Stratocaster and an American Telecaster. Um, for most of that period I've actually played with the Telecaster it's only in the last two or three years, but the last two and a half years I've been playing with the Strat, which I really enjoy, and it gives a, a wider range of sounds I can use as well, which lend themselves better to um, some of the Floyd some of the Floyd material. But the Telecaster has done a great job over the years as well, and will be continuing to use it as well. So let me take you through the keyboards. See, so like my trendy chair. Um, right, okay. So when we're playing live, I play with the Korg X5D because this is too big and I did actually take it out the house once for a gig and it was too much effort and it was very very heavy and that wasn't for a dark side of the wall gig. Um, so I tend to, when I'm learning the material, I will learn it on the piano and I, to be honest with you, this is a weighted keyboard, it's a clavinova, like Yamaha clavinova, 
and it's great, absolutely fantastic. I've had this for many years, and the, the weighting on it is similar to a, 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 an acoustic piano. So I'll learn the pieces on here uh, using, sometimes I use the, uh, the mu music books, and I'll listen to pieces as well um, to get, you know, you know, for obvious reasons, to, to listen to live versions as well as the studio versions combined with what's been written in the, uh, the music manuscripts. Um, so anyway, I'll just give you a demonstration of one piece which was quite, quite, it was quite difficult to learn, uh, but beautiful to play. Uh, this great gig in the sky. Obviously that wasn't the whole piece, but I just thought I'd give you a sample um, of how it sounds uh, on the piano. Um, and then what I'm going to do is go through some more work with you now, uh, showing you uh, the, uh, the synthesizer, how we, how we use it. Um, okay, so I said I was going to go through uh, looking at the synthesizer, the Corvig X5D, and how I use this. Um, this is fantastic. I mean, the sound quality from this, I think, is really... Um, of a good, really good standard. Now, I play all sorts of things in here. I'm not going to go through everything. What I'm going to demonstrate to you here is uh, how I use the strings on Gunner's Dream off the uh, the Final Cut album. I want to play uh, just just a part of just just part of that, just to demonstrate how it works with the piano. Um, hopefully, this will work. I won't make any any gaffes. So let's see how we get on. So that just gives you an, um, an idea of the combination of the sounds we use. I use analog strings off here, and Pete Riley, who plays lead keyboard, does a fantastic job um, with this. And I remember when I first joined the band, Pete taking me through it and giving me some guidance on it. Um, so because we we work really closely together on working out the parts, um, and it's really enjoyable working with other people, where we can uh, sort of cross ideas over and. Uh, just just share our views on how we were to, were to present the uh, present the finished work. Um, when I when we when I picked this up, it was on the advice of of Pete Riley. Um, he recommended this this particular keyboard. Um, I play the keyboards. Yes, I play the piano, uh, but synthesizers. When I joined the Dark Side of the Wall, really was a new thing for me. Um, one of the programs that was put in here was for Shine On. Uh, let's see how it sounds. This is how we start really, just gently coming into the start of the track. And as you're aware, it's built up for quite some time, there's a change.
this is um, played on the grand piano sound on the on the keyboard, us and them. Okay, we have a, the Stratocaster, which is a new addition to the family of guitars I, I have. Uh, it's a Stratocaster Elite. Um, it has a, a volume control, has an S switch, uh, which allows more uh, cross section of more effects to get off, off the uh, off the pickups. And also, these pickups are noiseless ones. So, uh, in the past with Stratocasters, without the noiseless, the the, the original vintage pickups from that you would quite often get pick up, uh, feedback issues actually sometimes I like the feedback so I do miss that sometimes uh, we've got breathe <laughs> I'm using actually, I had to look at it to uh, is the Zoom G1N X. I used to have another one, uh, 505, 505 2 Zoom, which I, th I think they're great. Uh, just to demonstrate uh, a different effect here, distortion overdrive, um, for example, on money. I'm going to switch over to the 12 string, which I also play as part of the set. This is electroacoustic, I don't need to plug this in for this uh, video, so I'm just going to play. So I use this on Mother. Actually, when I purchased this, was not electroacoustic 12 string. Uh, the last one I had was falling apart, it was actually breaking at the neck. Uh, it's a common problem with 12 strings because they're so heavy and the bridge pulls the strings and the, consequently the guitar breaks. So, what I did was I had the uh, electrics, the pickup taken out of the last 12 string, put into this, um, and it's done a great job and it plays beautifully. Okay, so the Telecaster. Just playing clean through through the amp, 
this is a Fender Blues Junior, which I absolutely adore this, this sound it gets. And so if we're coming back to life, for example, just play a clean, straight rhythm, uh, no fancy effects at all. talked yet about the keyboard amp. Uh, the keyboard amp has been with me since I joined the band. Um, this is a UK made amplifier, uh, Torp 100 Watt. So I use this with a keyboard, put it through to the desk at the front of the house and it makes a great monitor for me on the stage. Um, but I just want to demonstrate how it sounds and the, and the different uses it's got, the different um, Things that it does, it's got three channels. Uh, it's also got reverb built into it. Uh, there's also a loop effect in there for uh, putting in special effects, etc., which I don't use. Um, I've got all that um, in the key in the synthesizer. But if I can just demonstrate the, I've played this earlier, I've played this before. The power of it here. That's only about a quarter of the way. Quality of the sound is really good as well. So that's that's with the keyboard. Um, but also when I've had to use the guitar, sorry, use the key the, the amplifier for the guitar. Just demonstrate how it sounds. Some people would prefer the the valve amp sound which you get from the the, the Fender Blues Junior, or any sort of any brand of, of valve guitar amp. So this is this is a transistor amp, uh, but I'll just show you how it sound, how it does sound. So, so for example, if I was playing breathe, the Telecaster. Uh, with Dark Side of the Wall, there's also a, a need for having the support vocal work. So doing backing vocals, uh, which I take part in. Um, for example, on uh, Keep Talking, really enjoy singing on that. Um, and in addition, Breathe, Shine On, amongst many of the songs that we actually perform. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I've enjoyed doing this. It's been great fun. And sometime in the near future, hopefully, We'll be playing live. Take care. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, John. Um, I really enjoyed that, actually. And you can see how easily he just performs his music. He's such a uh, talented guy, whatever he's playing. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I did notice he was wearing the same shirt in a lot of those photos as he was wearing just then. So he's obviously dressed up for the occasion. And those of you who know him and have seen him on stage with us a few times will know that his shirts are often louder than his actual guitars. So, actually, I'll tell you about his other bands as well, because I don't believe he's mentioned them in his, his vlog. John actually plays in a covers band called Off The Cuff. Uh, he also plays in Kafka Diva. We've recruited him as uh, our fourth member. And he even plays harmonica in that too. And of course, like many of us in Dark Side of the Wall, um, he does original music, writes his own material, and his uh, outfit for that is called The Moonlighters. They write some cracking songs, actually, and uh, check them out if you can. John's uh, proves himself to be a real talented all-rounder in that outfit as well. So, thank you, John. Uh, hopefully, we'll be talking to another band member on the next episode. Meantime, all the usual stuff. You know, you can contact us uh, via all the links that I always point down here. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and leave comments. It's always great to hear what you say, and uh, as I've mentioned before, we always take the time to reply to them. So, from Lockdown Leicester, I will just sign off by saying, as usual, stay safe and shine on. See you next time.